guys thank you for tuning in on this video before i start this video i wanted to go ahead and shout out this channel called using my story i'm shouting out this channel because we need to bring awareness to the mental health and substance abuse crisis that's going on all over the world right now the goal of this channel is to provide a safe place where we can all gather as a community a place where we can use our stories of recovery from addiction to help others and bring hope if your story is still being written our hope is that these stories can help you overcome it the mission is to empower anyone who has struggled with substance abuse or mental health related issues whether directly or indirectly to use their stories to help others so what you're going to find on this channel is testimonies of people that have recovered from addiction substance abuse mental health issues the best way to get hope the best way to get motivation to get better is when you hear someone that has gone through something similar as you someone that has gone through addiction and if you're currently addicted if you hear how they overcame it how they've been sober for years that can help you out so much i want to get them to 1000 subscribers and i will be doing a giveaway once they hit 1000 subscribers right now they are currently at 755 subscribers if you subscribe to them send me a screenshot to my instagram that you're subscribed to them and i will be giving away this aeropress machine to make espresso shots and i will be showing you guys how i do that later in this video but i wanted to go ahead and shout them out i also want to go ahead and share a mental health treatment center in orange county california it is called enhance it is a treatment center for mental health and detox so if you need help if you know somebody that needs help this is an amazing company i personally know one of the owners and he has a heart for people he is somebody who recovered himself from addiction and mental health so he really has a heart for people he really wants to see people get better and back on their feet so if you're struggling right now with mental health if you're struggling with substance abuse you need to go into a detox center check out enhance i will have the website down below and if you know anybody share it with them like I said, there is a crisis in the world right now. People are dying from fentanyl all around us. People are committing suicide all around us. So we need to make sure that those that we know that are struggling with mental health, those that we know that are struggling with substance abuse, we need to reach out to them and just share these resources with them. If it's you, please don't question it don't second guess it check out the youtube channel check out the mental health treatment center it, it could help you it could change your life so i just wanted to share that with you guys and i hope you enjoy the rest of this video hey guys welcome to my channel this lighting is so bad um but today is gonna be a q a but i'm just gonna do it a little different this is horrible lighting got this out on this side yeah, right here. This is where it's at. We're actually going to Olive Garden right now. But I am obsessed with making coffee at home. Like I made this here. This is cold brew. And if you get these cups, it gives it that effect. Like if you want to go buy a coffee, but you really just made it at home. But look at this. I am going to make espresso shots at home. So, I'll have this link down below if you shop through my link on Amazon. I'm now an associate, so I get commission. It costs you guys no extra and it helps me out. So, these are the two things that I'm going to use for this. And I'll also link these down below if you guys want to buy the cups. It's actually our date night and I'm not taking you guys with us. But I just wanted to show you what I bought. And I'm going to answer questions throughout this vlog and show you guys how I make this coffee. Okay, I'll see you guys when I come back. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I showed you guys this last night. Um, and the beginning of this video, I'm going to make it make my first latte with my AeroPress. And I did say I'm going to link this down below if you guys want to get it. Oh my gosh, how do I open this? Okay. Well, I have all these parts. I do not know how to use them. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna figure this out right now. But apparently this makes American coffee, espresso style, 
lattes and cold brew. So you can make a bunch of different stuff with this. And yeah, I mainly got this for the espresso shots because like I said, I'm really trying to make my coffee at home now, which I have been doing. So let me figure this out and then I'll turn the camera back on once I figure it out. Hey guys, so future Vivian here. I had to go ahead and refilm this whole coffee process making just because I made it a little bit too complicated and I don't want to make the footage too draggy and too long. So this is future Vivian. I put on the same sweater so you guys could feel like, you know, it's the same, but it's future Vivian. A couple lattes in. I'm going to show you guys how I make a brown sugar shaken espresso with the AeroPress. And we're going to base this off with two shots of espresso so it's going to have 18 grams of coffee I did go ahead and i already know my measurement for 18 grams of coffee i weighed it out already and the measurement for me was up to here up to this line is 18 grams of coffee so um i don't want to weigh out my espresso every single time i do this so what i did is i just got my measurement so every time i make a latte i don't have to weigh it every single time because I'm traumatized from my fitness days. I hate weighing stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the espresso, two shots of espresso into the AeroPress. So go ahead and dump it in there. Brown sugar. And I'm going to use two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two. And just so you guys know, I am boiling water right now. Ground cinnamon. And I'm going to put a sprinkle in here about that much i am going to add half a cup of boiling hot water into this i'm going to add the lid with a filter that i added on it comes with the aeropress to this i'm going to flip this over and i'm going to press down I added some ice into here and I'm going to pour my shots in here. Go ahead and mix that. Going to add milk and the shots. I really need a mason jar so I can just become more successful at mixing this. And I'm going to shake this. Now that I've done that, Dump that in here. This tastes like a very, you know when you go to Starbucks, you ask for the brown sugar, oatmeal shake and espresso drink, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's really good, and sometimes it's disgusting. This is like when you get the really, really good one. That's how you make a, that's how you make espresso shots at home. If you guys want to go ahead and buy everything I use, it will be linked down below. Make sure to shop through my link on Amazon. Love you guys. Okay, well, I showed you guys how I make this. I'm going to make him Jimmy hot chocolate, and then we're going to pray because we need to pray. So I'll see you guys after. <laughs> I'm not going to put that in there. Here you okay, go. This is the reaction that you get. Thank you, babe. I love you. Uh <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> you don't know how to act in front of the camera. He made me breakfast! Babe. <laughs> so I haven't vlogged since the morning, but we just came from Target. And tell them what you did today, Ami. Um, I am today. Well, first tell them about your hair. I, my mom cut my hair in two things. What do you think, guy? <laughs> Show us your toy. We, I make this one for my mom. And this one for my daddy's one. This one is for my dad. Oh, thank you. Can I eat it? Yeah. But don't eat it and try it. Mmm. Tastes good. Yeah, it is.
Wait, I can't eat it, huh? Yeah. Only pretend, right? Because yeah. it's sad? Okay. Yeah, because it's sad. She got this little ice cream kit, kinetic sand, from Target. Yeah. And it's ice cream and it smells so good, right? Yeah. What does Mom, that smell like? This is for you. Thank you. It smells like strawberries. Mom, can you make me one? Yes. I really need to work on getting some lighting in here, but I'm gonna end off this video with the portion q and I did show you guys in the beginning how I make my espresso shots and just a little bit of my day today. But let me pull up the questions. I'm gonna go on Instagram and answer some of them. How is Amelia adjusting to her dad having joint custody and being away from you more? So Amelia is actually adjusting really good. They got her a dog. She loves that and she loves going to her dad's house. She's been adjusting pretty good. Um, and since I'm staying home now, she gets to spend more time with so It hasn't been too much of a rough transition for her. I would say for me, it's been, it's it mostly just gets a little bit hard like on Sundays because I go to church with her, but then I leave without her because then that's when her dad gets her. That's like our transition spot since we both go to the same church. <laughs> Yeah, just on Sundays, I get a little sad, but she loves it. She loves going to her dad's. She's doing really good, and yeah, she's she's happy. She has a dog. His name is Beendy. Let me insert a picture of him. He's literally so cute. So she has a pet there, so she's super happy. Can I sleep after prayer? Like, let's say I wake up at 4 a.m. to pray. Can I go back to sleep after? Yes, uh, you could just find out whatever works for you, like whatever works for you lately i've been getting up like at seven to pray but my goal is to get up at five um so by the time my husband's leaving to work i could already get my day started instead of like praying and then getting my day started just trying to be more productive so yeah whatever works for you whatever prayer schedule works for you as long as it's a set time and you stick to that schedule how did you get confidence to do youtube God's been calling me to change my YouTube niche for him. Honestly, well, I actually used to do YouTube back in the day, like when I was in really, really into fitness. One day I'll do a reaction video to my old, old videos, but I was always comfortable in front of the camera and I was always comfortable sharing my life on social media. I used to share, I think, too much of my life before. Um, so when I got saved, I just felt God telling me like, you need to keep that same energy, girl. Just like you would show off your worldly lifestyle, now you're gonna show off your lifestyle when you follow me. And that's kind of just how it happened. Because God, like I was built with that in me. I feel like that was in me since I was a little, little girl. Um, even like in MySpace days, like I'm telling you, I was editing my profile, changing the codes, hiding my music player, hiding my comments, doing all this stuff like editing my profile and going in there and doing the codes like since I was little like it was just something that came natural to me so it's just I, something I knew that God was calling me to do so I basically just kept it the same the same energy as I used to before because I used to show off when I would go clubbing when I would go drinking when I would work out I would literally show off everything so and talk about everything I was very open about a lot of stuff um, on social media back then so when I got saved God's like you're gonna bring that same energy this way and promote the kingdom of God instead of promoting the kingdom of darkness and yeah that's really how it happened for me um, it was built in me and it's the way God made me so uh, it was very easy for me to be open and confident about it how does God speak to you I get this a lot but like it's just that inner voice you can hear him in your heart is through his word um 
and that inner voice, that inner voice from like your heart, you just know. Yeah, so I just hear that inner voice a lot. And even through the word, when you're reading the word, God talks to me. Even when I'm hearing a message, God will talk to me. Um, when I'm praying, God will talk to me. So that's how I hear God speaking to me. And even through other people, like I said, sometimes I'll be like going through something and it'll be exactly what my pastor is preaching on. And I'll just like, what? But yeah, God speaks to me um, through my prayer time, through the Bible, through a message, through anybody really. Like, yeah, it's crazy. But you just have to know, you like, the word says that my sheep know my voice and they follow him. So you learn, you know, once you know him, you know his voice. Ooh, I like this question. What is your favorite part about being a wife so far? Um, my favorite part is that I'm taken care of. I mean, I was always taken care of, but now I can like tone down that like, how do I say it? That like almost masculine energy because I was always on my own and it was always just me and Amelia and it was always just me, Amelia and God. So I always had like this, my way, we're gonna do it like this. Like I was just so used to like leading and just being that like provider, even though like God's my provider, I still had to provide for myself and Amelia. And now my favorite part is that I could just be me and I don't have to carry that like draining masculine energy because it's not what I'm uh, how I'm meant to be you get me so I get to do what I love which is YouTube and taking care of my family taking care of the house being at the church doing ministry so I get to do what I love because my husband takes care of me and that is my favorite part of being a wife is that I get to do what I love and like really focus on it like the house is always clean most of the time way more than before than when I was working the house is always clean um, I get to wake up I get to make him breakfast I get to pack him lunch I get to take care of my husband I get to take care of my daughter I get to stay home with her I get to do YouTube I get to be at the church more and do ministry so yeah I just love that like, the best way I could say it is I get to enter my soft girl era if you guys know what that means, if you're on social media at all, that's the best way I could describe it. I'm about to get really real with you guys. Someone said, what are your biggest temptations that you deal with and struggle with and how do you fight them? <gasps> to be honest, like my biggest temptation, and if I'm not prayed up, there's a very high chance of this happening. <laughs> it's not going off on someone. Because when I get like, when I get like mad and in the flesh, when I'm in the flesh, like I am like this to respond. Like, I don't even think, I'll just say it. I'll just say what I'm thinking, say what I'm feeling, which the Bible says you need to be slow to speak, quick to listen, slow to get angry. And like my biggest temptations can be doing the complete opposite of that. And yeah. So, how do I fight it? I just, sometimes, like, you just need to just put your hand over your mouth if you have to. I literally do it sometimes. I'm just like, and people will be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm staying quiet. That is my biggest temptation. So, how do I fight it? I literally just put my hand over my mouth or I just tell myself, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything, be quiet, be quiet. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. <laughs> That's my biggest temptation. How has prayer been going? I would love to update you guys on my prayer life. It's actually been going really good. Um, I've prayed basically every day and I've noticed a huger difference because I started shifting, shifting from like, I started shifting from just praying and I started shifting to praying more intentionally and really interceding for salvations really in interceding for girls um that god has put in my path that i know i need to pray for and really doing intercessory prayer has made the biggest difference in in, in general 
I gotta intercede for for the people that God is gonna send my way, for the people that God wants me to help, for the people that are coming in that aren't even coming this month, maybe they're coming next month or next year. So really just focusing on intercession has made the biggest difference and it makes you feel like you're actually on fire for God. So if you feel like you lost your fire, start interceding for the lost, for the broken, for the confused, for lost souls. And that's really where my sh where I'm at right now. I'm just shifting from being unintentional in prayer to being super intentional and really focusing on soul winning. I am reading Divine Revelation of Hell um, just so I could get even more on fire for soul winning and taking care of God's people because God needs somebody to stand in the gap. That's really what prayer is about. Yes, there's a time like we praise Him, we worship Him, we thank Him, we we ask, we receive, we hear him, he helps us out, he ministers for us. But, you know, at the end of the day, the nothing makes God happier than winning souls. And winning souls starts in prayer and it starts in intercessory prayer. So that's where my focus has been at. And that's what's been putting me like really on fire for God and reading his word and even just getting into books like Divine Revelation of Hell. I read, I started reading it today. So... Yeah, that's where I'm at with my prayer life. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. If I didn't answer your question, put them down below and I'll type it out if it's not too long to type out. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.